On one of the days during this hunt, we had left the ranch to run to town and get a bite of lunch. And we came around the corner and discovered that a woman in an SUV had hit a small four corn buck and it was laying in the middle of the road. We pulled over and I moved the deer out of the road. It was so badly hurt that it couldn't fight back as I grabbed it and drug it out of traffic. I was about to dispatch this deer when I found out that she had already called the sheriff's department and was on the phone with them. And when I talked to them, I was notified that it would be against the law for me to shoot this deer, that we had to wait for a deputy to arrive on the scene and put the deer out of its misery. This deer was suffering. Every time I would drag the deer out of the road, it would drag itself on its front legs back out into the road. It was obvious that this deer's back was broken and it was in a tremendous amount of pain. I even got to the point where when I would drag the deer off the road, I would lay it down and I would pet it and I would try to calm it down and get it relaxed, but it still had a broken back. It was still in a lot of pain, it was suffering. Like I say, after an hour and a half, a Utah Division of Wildlife Resources officer came driving by. As it turns out, he wasn't even the guy that was dispatched. He just happened to be driving by and I flagged him down. There's our DNR guy right there. Were you dispatched on the deer that was hit? Nope. Oh, great. <laughs> we got a deer that was hit by a car. We drug it off the road a couple times on this oh. blind quarter. I was willing to dispatch it, but nobody would give me permission to dispatch it. If that DFW officer hadn't come along at that time, I was probably within four to five minutes of taking out my rifle and putting this deer down. But that's just not the way we operate. We try to be honest and ethical. I still can't believe it. This is a senseless law in Utah. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't think anybody can ever give me a good reason for why I just had to sit there and watch an animal suffer for an hour and 15 minutes longer than I should have. They've been hit by a car. It's not gonna get up magically and walk away. I would urge anybody who sees this video to write a letter to the Utah Division of Wildlife and ask them to change that law so that animals that have been hit by a vehicle can be dispatched. Nothing should ever have to suffer.